Tarzan of the Apes, from the novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs, with Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan and Miss Joanne Burroughs as Jane Porter. This is an American Gold Seal production released by the World Broadcasting System and Associated Station. Tarzan, with the help of Jane Porter, has rescued Professor Porter, Philander, Clayton, and Lieutenant Darno from the cannibal tribe. He leads them back through the jungle toward the sea. Clayton, sick with fever and jealous of Tarzan, because he believes Jane is falling in love with the ape man, shoots at Tarzan. When Tarzan would kill Clayton, Jane begs for his life. Tarzan, unable to understand the ways of these white people, stalks majestically into the jungle, leaving the party to its fate. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath. Darno, Philander, somebody stop him. Tarzan, Tarzan. Oh, he doesn't understand. Cecil, this is all your fault. No, no, Jane, calm yourself. Tarzan will realize his mistake and come back to us. No, you don't know Tarzan. He's so just and fair. He doesn't know that he is, but he knows nothing else. He can't understand why Cecil should want to kill him. Oh, confound it. I didn't know it was Tarzan coming through the trees. I saw something. Oui, Monsieur Clayton, you saw something and you fell. And it would have been the same if it had been Mademoiselle Jane. Perhaps Lieutenant Darno is inclined to be backward about expressing himself, Clayton. I will do it for him. We've all been inclined to tolerate your impossible actions and forgive them on the grounds of fever. I'm not asking anyone to forgive me for anything. I tell you something moved in the brush. How did I know it was Tarzan? Everyone else knew, Cecil. And it's odd. It's very odd that you were the only one to make a mistake. Are you insinuating... That'll do, Clayton. My advice to you is to keep pretty quiet. Let someone else do the shooting. Come on. The damage is done. Let's go into the hut. Mais mon Dieu! Mon de cher! Tonnerre de sort! Uh, what is it, Darno? The place! The place has been ransacked! Thoroughly searched! Turned completely upside down. Uh, could it have been Tarzan? No. I was with Tarzan the last time he was here. Uh, much too methodical for one of the apes. Of course, it could have been the blacks, but I doubt that very much. They would have taken everything. Well, we might as well start setting the place to rights. François! Oui, mon lieutenant. Uh, take this bucket and fetch water. We may as well get something to eat. Are, are all your papers there, Cecil? Those you left here, I mean? Uh, yes. Yes, they've been moved, but they're all here. Uh, that is, of course. All except the Greystoke diary, and that was gone before we left the hut. As for me, I'm going to get that boar, uh, the one that Tarzan killed for us. Uh, Monsieur Philander, uh, look after things here, will you? Yes, of course, of course. Oh, Professor, I think you'd better get into bed. Best place for a fever. Uh, but, Philander, I I'm all right now. I, I certainly am not an invalid. Daddy, you do as you're told right now. Can you make out what he says? No, but I'll go outside and see what it's all about. What is it, Darno? Francois, he was down there for what there, and he says there has been a boat here. A boat? Uh, do you mean that the cruiser has been here and gone? Now, do not alarm yourself. We do not know as yet. Hello, uh, let us go and find out. Oh, I can't bear to think of it. Mademoiselle, we do not know. Je vous pray wait until we get there. Oh, I wasn't thinking of the boat. I was thinking about Tarzan. I feel sure, Jane, that he will come back. Yes, and have Cecil shoot at him again. No, I don't think Clayton will do that again. By the way, where is Clayton? Uh, he stayed behind us, the hut. Uh, he feels rather badly, I expect. Well, he ought to. Ah, there has been a small boat beached here. And uh, footprints. Maybe uh, Yes, monsieur, but not the footprints of French sailors. Uh, how can you tell, Lieutenant? Footprints are footprints. Ah, uh, oui, but these are the prints of hobnailed boots. My sailors wear naval boots. There are no nails in them. Uh, how old are the marks? That is, how recent... Not old. A few days at the very most. But why beach a boat here, so far from the coast? Well, that I do not know, monsieur. Uh, for whatever reason, it increases our hopes of rescue. I'm not at all sure about that. No, no more am I, mademoiselle. In fact, I am very suspicious. Uh, but why? We heard no siren. Of course, the marks may be older than I think. 
But we may have been too far off to hear. But the cruiser's siren carries a long, long distance. As far as I am concerned, it may be merely intuition. But I feel that, that well, that everything is not all right. At any rate, we can do nothing about it now. We might as well return to the hut. I don't like to leave Clayton alone too long. Tarzan swings his way through the upper jungle terrace. The ape man is sad, disillusioned, because of the treatment he had received at the hands of the white men he wanted to call his friends. Especially as he disappointed in Jane Porter. She, he feels, should have understood, should have known that he, Tarzan, would not have attacked Clayton without ample reason. Tarzan pauses, looks about him, feasts his eyes on the jungle, his jungle. Yes, Tarzan. This is where you belong. You do not understand the Tarmangani, and the Tarmangani do not understand you. Tarzan seats himself on a broad branch and gazes over the almost endless expanse of trees. His keen, penetrating glance pierces the tangled mass of undergrowth. Home. This is home. Here with Numa, with Sabor and Tantor. Tantor, he is your friend. Though Tarzan does not know it, he misses companionship. Someone, something, anything to talk to. A friend to share his disappointment. A sympathetic ear into which he can whisper the thoughts that crowd in upon him. He rises to his feet, cups his hands to his mouth. Tarzan's call to Tantor, his friend, echoes and re-echoes through the jungle depths. Down by the water hole, Tantor hears, and raising his trunk, the elephant answers the call. Tarzan swings off rapidly in the direction of the answer as Tantor, his little eyes gleaming with pride and pleasure, lumberingly hurries to meet Tarzan. Tantor! Tantor! Down through the tangled mass of familiar vines and branches, Tarzan drops to the broad back of his jungle friend, Tantor the elephant. Yes, Tantor. It is here in the jungle with you that I belong. Not with those Tarmangani who do not understand the jungle's ways. As Tarzan whispers to the great beast, he drums his toes on the tough gray hide. And Tantor, understanding, supremely happy that his friend has come home, sways his trunk from side to side as he plods along the jungle trail. among themselves. Sure you made a no mistake, Snipes? If you ask me that again, I'm gonna knock your bleeding block off. I'm telling you, I buried the stuff here. Ain't we Tom Young's body? And weren't King here with me when I done it? That's right. Right in that hole we planted the chest. And that ruddy professor blow. He and his blooming pals has found it. Wait till he gets back here. What I won't do to them. Yes, if they ever come back here. Don't forget that we turned that hut upside down. And never a sign or map or anything that we find. You're always looking on the black side of things, Carlos. What's the difference? The map don't mean a thing no more. We move the stuff. What I don't understand is how these geeks Found our hiding place. Oh, that ain't so odd. The professor had another map. 
he come here looking for the swag. He don't find it, so he starts looking around. He finds where we hidden it and moves it. Yes, but he won't do it. He'll tell. When I get through with him, he will. Or, if he happens to be too odd, we'll take the dame. I have a great way with dames, I have. Uh, no, no, Carlos, my lad. Dames never hold out on snipes. Hmm. Maybe the dame doesn't know. No? And if the dame don't know, we'll hold her till them other blokes come across. Then, then uh, what? Then we'll put them all to sleep. <laughs> and me for London. And you? Oh, what do I care? <laughs> all sounds great. Snipes, but they haven't come back yet. We've been here days and never a sign of them. They left some of that gear at the yacht, didn't they? They'll be back. And when they come... Carlos, my lad. <laughs> well, you just wait and see. What was that? Wait. It's them. The old man and his gang. Come on, Eric. Here's where we get them and get them right. 